Hey guys, G Dog here, and welcome back to another Cubic Castles video. Uh, today, there's been an update for some users on Cubic Castles, so I thought I would show you some of that. Now, this came out for Steam users only, so if you play on the Steam version of Cubic Castles, you'll be able to have access to this update right away. Now, I'm not sure why they did that exactly. I know, like, a lot of the time, they have to wait a while for Apple to verify the updates and, like, check everything's cool on their side before they actually let it go live. So I know that sometimes holds them back. So maybe they chose to skip that, or maybe this is sort of like a, 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 a kind of open beta. I don't know. But it's here for Steam users, and I will leave a link to Steam and the Cubic Castle store page on Steam. So if you do have a PC running Windows, go check it out now. But yeah, so basically they've upgraded the Cubic store quite a lot now. It looks really good and there's some awesome packs I'm going to go through. Now they've also added a new currency. So if you look in the top right, I've actually got like some green cubes. Now these are called green cubes, and you get those basically by recycling clothing in a little recycling tub. Now we'll have a look at that more in depthly later on in the video, and I'll get to show you all these lovely items, look what you can get. But yeah, let's just go over the new store, because some of those new items are on there. Yeah, you'll need like the recycling bin off of the store before you can actually start getting this green currency. But yeah, let's open the new store and look at it. I love it. It looks awesome. Like, the, the, just the general look of it is really colourful. And they've made it a lot simpler now. They've made it um, a lot better for PC users. Because before, you used to have, like, sliding menus. Now, they're not, they don't work so well on PC. Because we have to, like, click our mouse button and then, like, slide across. Now, that's great for you guys on, uh, like, touch devices, you know. It's just, you know, quick and slide, but it's sort of not the best way to use menus on a PC. They can be a little inaccurate. But this simplifies it all, which is great. So, yeah, let's have a look. So, we've still got the get qubits. Now, they have added some amounts here. So, uh, yes, for $5, you're going to get 7,500 qubits. Now, they have changed these amounts up, which is cool to see. For 20 Ten dollars, you'll get twenty thousand qubits. For twenty dollars, you'll get fifty thousand qubits, and then they've added these two Uber packs. So yeah, for fifteen dollars, you'll get two hundred thousand, and for a hundred dollars, you'll get half a million qubits. Wow! Well, that is like really good value, you know. Like that'd be ten lots of that. So you are like saving, you know, our price if you don't go big. I wish it's going in the long run, you know, if you got loads of money. Uh, you can just throw it all at the screen now. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's get on to how they've like, broke up the menu. So, as you can see, the main packs which are on display at the moment are the dungeon pack and the slime pack. And uh, they've changed like all the descriptions and stuff, so it's much more easy to use. So yeah, everything you need to build your very own dungeon lair. You will get 10 phantom foam, 5 crates, 5 barrels, 2 bookshelves, 2 random dungeon blocks, and a dungeon door skin, or a rare dungeon mask, hood, or gargoyle block. So, I think they've broke that down a lot more better than they have before, and the same on the slime, like you're going to get three slime egg, and then a hundred of each of that. But yeah, let's actually dip into the menus. Now, they've changed up quite a lot of the stuff. Let's go to clothing first. So, clothing's got its own page, and instead of to like slide the little carousel wheel, on the bottom, we can just go straight to clothing now. So, yeah, critter suit, same price, same deal. You know, you're gonna get one ear and one tail. Wings, same deal, you're gonna get a random pair of wings. Accessories is the same also, uh, 500. I just think it looks really nice. And, and of course, you've still got the clothing and hat packs. And if you are, like, uh, doing a jewel with Hinter, I'll be able to buy hats much quicker now. Yeah, look how quick I can do this. Boom. That's my five hats, isn't it? So, yeah, it's going to make it better for that. <laughs> right, so let's move on to the build menu. Now, before, you used to be able to buy, like, say, like, one sandblock for 
I think it were one or two cubits. And like they used to sell bushes for 25 cubits each. Now no one really ever bought bushes and stuff like that. So instead they've done like loads of cool packs. And as you can see we have got the arrows down here if you want to navigate like that. Which is cool. Uh, so yes, uh, we've got the get rooms, which is just like it was before, but what they've done is they've made it so the presets are all odd numbers. Now that makes sense with you having a door which is free wide, which is an odd number. So I always bought 11 by 11 realms or 15 by 15. They were always odd numbers by odd numbers, so like you could have symmetrical realms. Whereas if you use even numbers, you'd have like one block, you know, uh, uh, like wider on like one side of the door and then one block not as wide on the other side of the door so that's real cool to see and i like how they've made it nice and easy with the drop down menus definitely looks a lot better but yes they've added packs so let's go through these packs and i'll tell you what i think of them so yeah the first one is uh, the stone pack so you're going to get 5,000 stone for 1,500 cubits. Now, that's really good in my opinion. Now, like, you can obviously buy them cheaper off of shops and uh, miners in-game. But just for the convenience of, you know, I want 5k stone ore now. Let's get it right now. And that's just, in my opinion, it's going to work out much better how it's set up like that. Because people are still going to better sell stone ore and make a profit from mining it. But, you know, big builders who need, you know, like 20k stone now won't have to, like, spend, you know, like, four hollers and go around to, like, 20 different shops to be able to get the stone they need. Which I think is real cool, and, like, that's gonna go over to the other packs as well, like, for, for instance, the sand pack. So, for, you'll get 7,500 cubits for 1,500, which isn't too bad. Like, you can probably buy... 10,000 sand in game for a thousand cubits, so it's definitely a little bit more marked up than say the stone pack, in my opinion. But it's definitely worth it, you know, if you want that seven and a half thousand sand now to you know make it cello rings or plaster or something like that, you can just bang grab it straight away. Uh, also, this wood pack's awesome, uh, one of my favorites actually. So, for 1500 cubits, you're gonna get uh, like 5,000 trunks. Uh, so you're going to get uh, 1,200 of each trunk, and you're going to get normal trunks, pine trunks, which are good for pine amber, dead trees, which is awesome, because they take a while to mine in arctic mines, because you walk slower in arctic mines, and there's a lot less of them. We obviously can make ghost gum and ghost dust out of those, so that's definitely, like, ups the value, in my opinion. And then you also get 1,250 palm trunks also so yeah that's definitely a good value pack in my opinion the dyes i'm not so bothered about because you can make all these dyes in like five minutes by just having a very small berry farm you can pretty much yeah you can make all of those in fact i think the only one you struggle to make is the pink dye because you need white flowers for that but you know you can go and get a few white flowers and make 250 dye in no time Right, so my next one is the Luxury Metals Pack. Now this, in my opinion, is super pricey. And I think, you know, some people were worried that these packs were going to, like, knock shops and miners and people who maybe can't afford to, you know, buy cubits and, like, they'll mine gold and stuff and then sell that onto shops. I think people were worried some of these packs would ruin their business for them. But this, I can't see anyone buying this unless they're really desperate. Like, 500 gold... You know, gold goes for about uh, three cubits each. So, yeah, that's 1,500. And then silver goes for one cubit each. And that's not 12. That's not 2,500. So, I won't be buying the luxury metals. Uh, scaffolding has gone up a little bit in price. Now, there have been some increases and some decreases in price. Well, we'll go over some of those later, but scaffolding has gone up by 50p, I believe. I might be wrong about that. Housing pack. Now, I'll never buy this, but, you know, it might be handy for some people. Uh, but that's quite easily craftable. Uh, if you know the recipes. Uh, right, so the crafters kit. This is quite a good pack, actually. I'm not totally dissecting the price of it, so... 2,500 cubits is going to get you 5,000 tax, which is going to be, that'll probably be about, like, you know, 500, 800 iron ore. So that's not too bad. Obviously, 1,000 glue, that's 3,000 glue. Uh, 
a thousand charcoals, a thousand trunks, a thousand string is obviously a thousand grass, and then varnish you're gonna need two hundred and fifty flowers, sorry, young berries and two hundred and fifty pine resin. So that's a pretty good pack. It's definitely a time saver pack. I do like it. I may buy that sometime, but I do have you know like a rubber farm. And to be honest, with my wood pack, I'd probably just buy that and farm my rubber farm instead. The farm pack's pretty good if you're setting up a farm and actually like this soil and the fences, you can get loads of them. Like I bought a few of these last night to finish off my farms. Now you're only getting 50 rubber tree and then 25 of each bush. But if you look back at the old prices, that is super cheap for 500c. Um, I can't stop trying to buy it. <laughs> because before I think bushes were 20 to 25 cubits each, so you're definitely like saving money there. Don't get me wrong, you can go and pick these yourselves, but... To be honest, that's a lot of wood and materials for the fences. And the soil's a little bit pain. It's a, it's a little bit painstaking getting that. The water pack, oh my god, this is my favourite. This is my favourite. 10,000 water for 1,250 cubits. That's insane. Like, water goes, yeah, maybe you can buy it 20 for 1. But I usually buy it, you know, 8 to 10 water per cubit so that's definitely in fact i'm gonna buy some of those right now because i want to never have to worry about water ever again <laughs> yeah i'm never gonna have to worry about water ever again <laughs> awesome uh right oh we're on the wrong bit so yeah the last couple of packs uh so for 2000 you'll get 2000 Plaster for 1250 cubits, which is pretty good actually, because that's two stone and one sand per plaster, so that's not too bad. Let's see if you can actually. So you're probably be better off crafting it by buying the sand pack and the stone pack, and then you'll have leftovers as well. Uh, in fact, oh, that'd be like for 4,000. Oh, that's getting close actually, they're about evenly valued. Uh, but obviously, you know, stone is raw there, so you can choose to do what you want with it. The iron pack's pretty good, 3,000 iron for 1,500 cubits, which is pretty good. Uh, you can buy iron cheaper than that in game probably. Well, that's a nice convenience little buy pack there. But yeah, I'm really impressed with these packs, I really do like them. Uh, I'm definitely going to be buying some of them. Like the wood, stone and iron pack and of course the water pack are my favourites. Uh, probably won't ever bother with the housing or the luxury metals. Uh, but yeah, let's go on to my next section. So items, you've got Realm Basics, which is like your cash register. Now look at the price of that, guys. That's gone down loads. That's 500c, which is super cheap. And I think that's really cool that they brought that down. Like, not just, like, for the price sake. It's going to mean less people are going to do, like, piggy trains and drop trains. are going to be able to use a register. I definitely think that's good that that's come down in price, definitely. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, other normal stuff that you would find here. Uh, let's go back. So in the parkour section, we've got heel block and all that stuff. Cannons have gone down in price a little. They used to be 600 each, I believe. Sure, those checkpoint and heel blocks are cheaper as well. I might be wrong on that. Right, so in the game section, you've got the dice, the trick to die, bombs, kill me bombs, pulse bombs. Oh, kill me bombs are super cheap now. That's cool. That is nice. A little 10 pack for 50. Oh, I'll be having me some of them. And bombs are a lot cheaper now. Oh, awesome. I'll be buying some of them. I want to, like, blow stuff up, but it's always been, like, a little too expensive for me. Let's get loads of bombs. Bombs. <laughs> oh, I not noticed that earlier. Oh, yeah, I'm super happy. Oh, we need to buy 10 more. Come on. Let's buy 10 more. Uh, so that's in game. Yeah, awesome. 100 bombs. Uh, Pulse block's a little bit cheaper. Like, it didn't used to be an explosive pack. Uh, I think it's definitely going to work out cheaper. Uh, so ones, uh, I'm sure shrink one when used to be 2,500, so that's got loads cheaper. I think these have got cheaper, but you can obviously craft these and buy these probably. Much cheaper in game. I think the heel one's a little cheaper as well. Castle stamps. Uh, I'm not actually really looked through these very much. Uh, they all look about the same prices. Obviously, 
Oh, I shouldn't say the best or last, but I guess they don't want to upset the obelisk people. <laughs> right, door stamps. These have got cheaper, I'm sure. The chisel cave is a little cheaper. Might be wrong. Uh, they're about the same if they're not. Yeah, we've got our normal, like, uh, environment stamps. I do want to see some new ones of those, though, down the line. That'd be cool. Uh, hollers are the same, I believe. Yep, 2,000 for four. I do actually need some, so I'm going to buy some. Right, Clanstone's 20k, so buy your Clanstone now. If you're on Android, mobile, buy your Clanstone now. Now, I think the Clanstone, you know, it's a really intricate block. It lets you make your own clan, and... I mean, I don't like that it's doubled in price as much as the next guy, but I can understand it to a certain degree. Oh my god, my laptop's just like killed itself. Uh, it's a current pack. I don't really see the point in ever buying that, so you don't really need those. Uh, just never give anyone perms. Don't trust anyone. Uh, portals, I think they're the same price. I don't know, they may have been 350 before. Right, the quest pack now. If you've ever done the quest pack 1, 2 or 3, you don't really want to be buying this. Especially if you've done all 3. Because they've basically lumped in the first 3 quest packs all together now. So, if you've never done the quest packs, awesome, buy that. It'll save you a bit of money. Uh, especially if you've got Merchant Perk. Uh, and you'll be able to do all the quest packs and it'll add them all to your log. If you've done the quest packs before, say you've just done quest pack 2, you should get the quest Obviously for quest pack 1 and quest pack 3, but you're obviously not going to be able to do quest pack 2 again. Uh, nukes are the same, but I do love that little picture, that's awesome. Official papers, I'm sure I've got cheaper. Name tags about the same, and all that's the same, so yeah, cool. Right, so we've got to get on to Marie Cube, haven't we now? I think we have. So, this is Marie Cube menu. So... To make re cubes, you're going to need a recycle bin, which is 250 cubits. And then, after you've recycled stuff, you'll get these re cubes, and then you'll be able to buy these three different packs. So, in the scrub pack, you are going to get. Let's have a look how many we get. Let's go. Uh, let's just dump all this out, and then we can actually see what we get. Well, these are the scrubs, which I've got 49 of currently. Uh, these are the polka dots. Polka dot tree bases and then the trunks and then these are all the new lovely flowers which are amazing I've got to say really cool um, flowers yeah I love flowers me I'm a I'm a boy <laughs> well they are awesome and yes these are my new recycle bins so that's what they look like in your inventory and when you put them down they look like that but we'll we'll go into another room and do a little bit of recycling shortly Right, so let's see how many of this stuff we actually get. So, if I buy a scrub pack, I am going to get 50 scrubs. So, that's awesome. That's these little things here. And what's really cool is you can actually hide in them. So, if you've got a hiding bumper, you can have a really cool, like, uh, hide and seek. I'm thinking of making, like, a quite tricky, uh, like, parkour. You know, like a tree, tree maze parkour. Uh, that's my... Well, I'm probably going to do them anyway, or I might make like a little amaze in them. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, these are my flowers down here. So, yes, uh, there's eight different sorts of flowers. No, there's not. There's ten. There's ten different sorts of flowers. Where are them other flowers gone? I've not put them down yet. Come on. Get them down. Uh, guess like that. And they're also like, you can walk through those as well, which I quite like. I think that's quite cute. Like walking through my flowers. Right, let's dump these and see how much we actually get of stuff. Right, so we were getting 50 scrubs uh, for our re cubes. In the flower pack, let's see what it says. So you're going to get 20 randomly re cube only flowers. So there's 10 different types of flowers and you're going to get 10 random. So let's see what we get on this little go. So here we got. Five. We've got nine of the variants. Uh, so we got the pink one. Uh, we've got the purple ones. We've got the blue ones. We've got the yellow ones. And we've only got one type of the white ones. But we have got, you know, like four giant violets. And, you know, like three giant cornflower. So that's real cool. Uh, let's see what we get next time. Let's put these in here and see what we get. 
next time. Ah. Oh, another thing I will mention about the Recube store, if you've got the Merchant Perks, it actually works on this stuff too. So if you look at uh, my Cubit total now, I've got 188, so if I'm going to buy a scrub pack, say, it's only gone down by 9 Cubits because I get 10% off, so that also carries over to Recubes, which is, uh, I thought, worth mentioning, at least. Alright, so let's buy some more flowers and see what we get. So there we go. Uh, six, seven variants there, but we got like, you know, lots of threes. We've got, actually got five giant violets, which is crazy. But yeah, lots of cool new flowers. Really cool. I think, uh, you know, people are there to make some real cool, like, pretty realms with them. I'm sort of glad that, you know, this recube stuff isn't, you know, like, oh, a new hat because, you know, this is just like aesthetic stuff. It's not something that someone's going to think is uber cool and you know like get super jealous of although i do like the polka dot trees so yeah let's see how many we actually get with that so let's have a look so you'll get 20 polka dot trunks and five polka dot bases so that's cool you can make like five four high um like trees i think i will say about those um now, you can just put, like, whatever tree top you want on, but it's definitely worth putting this scrub on. I think it looks perfect. I think it was definitely what they meant, you know. Uh, you know, you need scrubs for those trees, so that's cool. And they do look awesome. I think you could actually make some quite cool houses out of it, you know, like pillars and stuff. I think they sort of look quite cute. as like, little tables. You have, like, a little picnic table in the middle. Uh, it sort of works. You know, like a little, like, chairs, little stumpy chairs. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I've got an imagination. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get on to marine cubing because, yeah, there's some eye-opening stuff I'm going to show you. Let's just dump all this here because we're going to get full of stuff. So, this is my little marine cubing hub. Uh, right. So, you can basically recube any clothing item currently. Um, so... How they work out how much you actually get is based on rarity. So let me do a little. Uh, I'll I'll show you some stuff now. Right, have we got an empty one? Right. So you see the little progress bar here on the bottom. Now that's going to go up as I recycle stuff. If I put a Viking hat in there, I'm going to say I got a tiny little bit. Now I believe all common hats take 20 hats. Or two tunes, or you know, 20 common items basically. Now, it's not based on value at all, it's only based on rarity. Antlers are worth, in essence, as much as heart glasses and dragonfly wings and butterfly wings, as they're common. Um, now, if you look at rares, so dark angel wings are going to give you as much as an invisibility cloak. and as a Cupid's Halo, and as Cupid Wings, and as a Roman Helmet. So, like, don't be putting your super rare stuff in. I'm going to show you how much you get on some of the super rares later on. Uh, yeah, so stay around for that. I'm going to be destroying some wondrous stuff. Yeah, as you can see, we nearly got it filled up. Let's put that in. So, I think this will make it 18, maybe a little higher. Yep, but on the common items, it is 20 to 21. Uh, not quite got it down. So yeah, one more, and boom. Just got ourselves a recube, which is awesome. So you need to do that five times to get, you know, five recubes, and so on. Right, so let's do it. Right, so if you use wondrous stuff, which, oh... Wait, I can't do it yet. Let me let me build up to it. So I'll show you some of the different, you know, values you're gonna get. Uh this is making me feel sick. <laughs> Put aviator in, we're gonna get more, we're gonna get like double what say a baseball hat is worth. Which is I bloody hope so. <laughs> but yeah, definitely don't be destroying this stuff guys, because it's not gonna get you much more than say a dunce hat or a top hat. You may as well just put 
that stuff in. You know, it's for recycling, not for, you know, breaking down your fest stuff. Uh, so, yeah, look. The turban's pretty good, because that's a rare. Uh, so, it's definitely going to give me more. Like that. Let's see, I'm not done with one of these yet. You see, that hardly give me anything. <laughs> right, the fez. Let's see the fez. Come on. Oh, the fez give me loads. So, that is, you know, one of the... I think that is in the same class as the Roman and the Cupid wings. Now, I will leave a link in the description to my recipes page on the forum, so you can see all the different rarities of stuff, so you'll know what stuff is worth the same value in recube points. Let's pull that motherboard in. See, that gives me quite a bit as well. But yeah, if you were ever to be so foolish enough to do this, you will get... Are you ready for this? We're on 150. We're going to get two and a half, or 2.4. So, yeah, don't be doing that. Like, I could have... Is a Greek Orthodox worth 50 baseball hats? It's worth way more than that. So make sure you just destroy your 50 baseball hats. Now, other stuff you can recube. You can do 2-2, two -two, so let's just break this. And this is worth as much as baseball hats and Viking helmets, say. So, yeah, let's actually count this out. Let's go to a one that's empty. Oh, well, we'll get back to monocles in a bit. <laughs> right, uh, we've got this empty one here. Yeah, see, that's got stuff in. Okay, I've got one through here, haven't I? Put it down. <clears throat> let's go grab this. Right, uh, where's all my two twos and stuff over here, I think? Is it on this side? No. No, it's on the other side. Yeah, where the hole is. Right, so let's pop it down. Right, so let's put the first six in. So that's got me a little, a little under a third, as you'll see. This is where I'm getting my 20 from, so this will be 12 after this. And then this is 18. Two twos. And this will be 20. As you'll see, it just about fills it up, but if you just put one more in, it'll top it over and you'll get your recube. That's the same with cows as well, so if we do 20 cows, or 21 should I say. So you're going to get the same amount. So let's keep doing that. I think it's really cool. Like, people who do spend a lot on the Cubit store are going to have something to do with their trash. Um, because we do accumulate a lot of it. Um, like, trying to get Romans and stuff. And, you know, doing the 50k pack openings leads to a lot of Viking hats. And... You know, the amount of bat wings that must be in this game doing absolutely nothing. You know, there must be 100 bat wings per person, in my opinion. At least, I'd say. And there we go, got another e cube. Awesome. So, yeah, if we look at this stuff. So, uh, yeah, monocles. Four monocles. Boom. Will just about give you a cube. That was the best item I found, which I had a lot of. Uh, so, if you do have, you know, quite a few monocles, might be worth uh, destroying those. But yeah, you know what, you can mix hats as well, you don't need to use all the same hats, so... Yeah, if we, like, yeah, so we've got cowboys in there now. That'd be nine. That's twelve. That's 18, that's 20, and that's the 21st, just to get us that extra little bit to make us be able to have a cube. Now, there is one thing I will warn you about, say, now, if I come back to, I believe it was this one, see how I've still got my little bar that's filled up, you know, a certain way. Now, that will stay like that until I come back to it, unless I break it. So, if I put this in, you'll see I've got a tiny little bit. Now, if I break it and replace it, I it's going to be totally empty again. So make sure if you've got, you know, like three quarters of a bar, 
Don't put your hats in. <laughs> oh no, don't 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 mine it and uh, forget that you put hats in it. Right, let's get on to this now. I'm not sure how long this is going to be about. There's rumours, but some players find this overpowered or it may be getting removed. I don't know. I've not heard anything official. I've just heard speculation. Now, when I said you can use any clothing item, I do mean any clothing item. So, look. These are six common hats, okay? You know... Like wizard hat, viking, swabby, minor, top hat. That's going to give us that amount. So, you know, the normal 20, 21 to get a cube. If I do shirts and pants, I'm going to get the exact same amount. Now, they're craftable and mineable quite easily as well. So, now, I'm in two minds about it. I... I'm sort of okay with it, obviously, you know, I've been mining cotton, I've, you know, made loads of shirts and pants and got loads of ring cubes. You know, I'm happy. I've also, you know, destroyed every little bit of stock in my stock room and that's cool. It's cleared up a lot of space, you know, stuff that I was never going to sell for any amount ever because it was, you know, who wants 50 cowboy hats? Nobody, nobody. You know, I'd have to sell them for 30 cubits each, maybe, you know, over two weeks. Instead, I got a few recubes out of it, and I'm happy with that. And a part of me likes, you know, that anyone can do it. It's not just the people who've spent, you know, loads of money on the game to get cubits. You know, anyone can do it. I sort of like it. I mean, I can understand why, say, people wouldn't like it. Like, I, but at the same time, like, I, I never bought those hats thinking in the future I'll be getting my money back for it. You know, I bought those hats, I knew I was going to get trash, basically. And this just allows me to recycle my trash. Now, you can make your own trash out of cotton and cloth. And I, I'm okay with it. I think, you know, it's going to give people, players the opportunity who may not have it to have these new blocks and items. I mean, they are going to be for sale as well. Uh, and I think... You know, if they do leave in shirts and pants, it's going to bring prices the nose down. This means more players are going to have it. And it's not like, it's not like it's an uber super hat, you know, with like made out of golden cubits, you know, to show that you've supported the game and then you've recycled all your support into more cube, like a new cubit and then made an uber hat out of it. You know, if, if that were the case... You know, maybe I would have a problem with shirts and pants. But we'll see what happens. I don't know if they're sticking about or if they'll be here forever. Well, as of now, maybe you might want to farm a little bit of cotton. But yeah, that's been pretty much everything I wanted to go over. I've been rambling a little bit longer than I normally do. But um, I hope it's been alright. And uh, yeah, I really like my new store. I love the new packs. Marine cube stuff's really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have fun with new blocks. And I hope you guys do too. But yeah, it should be coming to iOS and Android soon. I don't have a date for you. I don't have anything to do with that side of things. So I know as much as you on that front. But I'd assume a few days, a day or two. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to say. So yeah, that's been everything. Buy your clan stones now if you want a clan. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.